headed to go find a snake. And this particular snake is inside of someone's house in their upstairs bedroom in an odd place. That's what I'm told. So uh, I'm going to go see if the snake is still there. Hopefully we can catch it. But I'm curious to see what kind of odd place the snake has gotten himself into. It's been on the fan itself for three days. It's on the fan? Yeah. The snake is on the fan. Yes, he's on the fan. How you doing? Fine, how you doing? Good. Uh, they called me from across town because they were in a panic. Okay. <laughs> and it's you right upstairs here. Okay. It'll be the door on as soon as you get to the top of the stairs on the left. All right. And it's on the ceiling it fan. It's on the fan. It looks like a rat or a king snake. Yeah. Which way? Right. You said this door to the yeah, left? That one right there. Yeah, is there a light in here? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is just hanging out on the fan, isn't he? How long has he been on the fan? I don't know. Um, I saw him like Sunday night, but I, he wasn't that big when I saw him Sunday night because if he was, he I thought it was a him. tie. He didn't know he was it a snake was, at first. I saw it and he was probably about that big when I saw him. Sunday oh, really? Night. So I really didn't huh. focus on him. Well, how about that? I've never seen a snake. On a, how did he get on the ceiling fan? I have no idea. I think he's probably been in the fan and slipped it on out. Well, here's what I think. So let's see. So if you look around this room, there's no way this snake could go up the wall. Yeah, where's the entry point? Here? And climb over. So here's what I bet you happened. This snake has been living in your attic. That's what I've been He's thinking. been living in your attic, and there's a hole cut in your right. ceiling yeah. mm -hmm. right up in here for your electrical to come through. And there's a gap right up in here. So he came down through the attic and came out into your bedroom, which we don't normally see that very often. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll just pull him off here. All right, come here, buddy. And he's trying to go back up in there, too. That's exactly what he's doing. There we go. Okay. All right, fella. <laughs> no more ceiling fans for you. It is time for you to go somewhere else. All right, let's take you downstairs. That's the bravest man I've ever seen in my life. No, it's not bravery. It's just <laughs> knowing, knowing a little bit about these guys. No, he's not so big. No, okay, he's not quite as big. Yeah. Stop, stop. Don't put it close to me. Oh, I'm not, I'm not yeah, going to put it close to you. Now, this is a rat snake. That's, that's what my dad And these are so. very, very good climbers. Now, you think about snakes being round, and they're not round. This guy is actually shaped kind of like a loaf of bread. He's got corners on the bottom, and he uses those corners Hello. to climb with. So he's a very, very good climber. You want to touch him? No. I'm good. No. You sure? I'm good. I've, I'm sure. I've touched the snake before. I'm good. <laughs> he's actually pretty calm, and he's yeah. nice and cool. It's I, cool I in here. I because a couple weeks ago, I think he's been up there for a while, because a couple weeks ago, I turned my fan on, and it I started rattling. Like I think he was in the fan while it was rattling. So once I heard it riding, I turned it off, and I haven't turned it on back since. So I think that's why he's thought it's fine to come out. So how long do you think he's been up there on I the think fan? He's been in there for a couple weeks, if not a month. When they come out on the fan itself, he, on, the fan right it's, on the fan itself, probably about three days. Because really? I saw him around Sunday night, but he wasn't that big. But he wasn't fully out like he was. Yeah, he was just kind of coming out trying to figure out yeah. he probably got up in your attic couldn't figure out how to get out yeah. and then saw the light on and saw a light or maybe came down that way and then couldn't figure out how to get off the fan back to the attic yeah because we've so. that light on multiple yeah. times yeah yeah cool well this cute little rat snake we'll take him out of here because uh they don't want him on the ceiling fan and i wouldn't either i wouldn't want this guy on my ceiling fan <laughs> All right, buddy, you ready to go? You ready to go with me? 
it will find you a good place to turn you loose, okay? Did someone bite you? Yeah, he just bit me. He's a he's a feisty little guy. I think he knows what you're up to. Yeah. He's wanting me to he well he he knows he's outside now and he sees the grass and uh he's like, Oh yeah, that's where I wanna be. Yeah, I wanna be out here instead of on the ceiling fan, don't you there, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fella, we're gonna put you in this bucket right here. So get right down there. I'm gonna put a lid on it. Cause he would definitely climb out of that bucket. Down in there. Okay. If you guys ever need anything, y'all call me anytime. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. So this is gonna be a perfect place to turn the snake loose. Uh, lots of habitat here that's perfect for rat snakes and we're not too far away from where we just caught it But far enough to where this snake is not going to go back to that same house Well, this is going to be a nice little place to turn the snake loose, and it's not far from where the house was, but it's far enough to where the snake is not going to go back over there. There's too much habitat in between here and the house. So we're going to turn them loose right here. Now, <clears throat> um, you notice when I, <laughs> when I went to get the snake off the ceiling fan, I just reached up and grabbed the snake with my hand, and... Uh, the snake could have bit me then. He didn't bite me. He bit me once I <laughs> started bringing him downstairs. But, um, let me get him right here out of this bucket. Come here, buddy. All right, so <laughs> here he is. Now, you're wondering, you know, why didn't you use a tool? And a lot of times we go into a house and people say, you know, where are your snake tools? Where are you going to catch them with? And I just show them my hand because I'm going to catch it with my hand. And that's because here in Georgia... Uh, you have to have a license to catch snakes that are non-venomous. And it also stipulates that you have to catch them live by hand only. <laughs> so technically those snake grabbers, those tongs you see people using, we, we really can't catch non-venomous snakes in Georgia with those. We do have to use our hands. And uh, sometimes, sometimes they bite. Um, now one big... <clears throat> There's, <clears throat> right, hang on, there's poison ivy out here. <laughs> now, one big misconception about snakes, and especially snake bites, is that there's a huge risk of infection when you get bit by a snake. Now, anytime your skin is cut and exposed to germs and things, you know, of course it can get infected. But as far as a snake bite goes, infection from snake bite is not common even venomous snakes comparatively speaking this snake has a much cleaner mouth than anybody watching this video all right yeah you've had the food stuck in your teeth our teeth are designed that way and food gets stuck in our teeth these guys are designed where food does not get caught in their mouth and their teeth so it doesn't grow the same bacteria that us and other animals you know have so a bite from a snake is not really prone to infection. Now, when you do see infection from snake bites, that's usually from a venomous snake, from necrosis of the wound. The wound is open because the venom is damaging tissue. And now because you have a, a long-term open wound, that gets infected. But even that infection is not necessarily coming from the bite itself. So infection from a snake bite is is very rare okay and so uh how should you treat it i don't know an antiseptic i usually kind of just <laughs> wipe the blood off and that's kind of it so you see my bite uh right here on my arm so my bite right here it stopped bleeding really really quick and uh you really can't tell that you got bit so uh not not really a big deal now i'm just down the road from where we caught this snake 
and uh, there's a big lake here, lots of habitat, lots of woods, and not very many houses right here at all. And so it's important to release the snake kind of nearby where he was caught. He'll do much better right here. All right, fella. Now listen, you go and you do snake things. You stay out of attics and stay off ceiling fans. If you can agree to that, I will release you. Does this habitat look good for you? I think it's going to be great. So you go down this log and you go crawl off somewhere and go find some rodents to eat, whatever it is you like. And this is an awesome, awesome place for you to spend the rest of your life. Well, I think this thing will do really good here, but now it's time to check in with Sarah and Audrey. They're on the way to catch another snake right now. I'm Sarah Clark and I'm Audrey Clark and right now we just got a call to go to somebody's house in a neighborhood because they think they have a copperhead and you know what they don't really want it there so we're going to head over there and see if we can't help these people out and remove this copperhead. Let's hope we get it. Got a good place, huh? I know. I'm trying to think if I should go on their property next door. Because if I try to grab them through the fence, they're going to wiggle away. Yeah. I'm sure Mr. I can get Mr. Hendricks to let you over there. Yeah. Let's see. He's going to go under that thing, though. Uh, well, I'm trying to see. <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to see where he get where he's going. Let me look real quick. Yep, that's where he went about five weeks ago when I when I was out here. He's being pretty cooperative. It, now, Audrey, even if I go on the other side, see how he's halfway under? Oh, yeah. Let me see. You'd have to go blindly after him. Hmm. Let me look at him on the other side. Let me look at him over there before I touch yeah. him too much. Can I come out this way? Yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can. You watch him. Let me try to get him. I'm not, I'm left handed, not right handed. I wish I had those little tongs. <clears throat> hair's getting caught. Wait, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crap, he's through the fence too. Got him. Alright, let me get a better grip on him. Hand me the 
happy with me either. It looks like a female, and it looks like she might be gravid. Mm. See how she's real fat down here like that? Yeah. I bet she's got babies in her. Oh, my. All right. Oof. I tell you, I'm definitely scared of snakes. I... All right, there. Good Lord. Oh, <laughs> it's like a rush. It's like when you're going fishing and you're like, no, I don't want to lose that fish. Yeah. Oh. Take care of him. I don't want to hurt him. Yeah, 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 I'm going to have Jason him. look at her, and but I'm pretty sure she looks like she's pregnant. So. Well, see, when he told me she could be having babies, oh, he owner. said it too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said she got to go. Yeah, as soon as I grabbed her, I said, oh yeah, yeah she looks like because we've gotten a couple on recent calls that are pregnant. So we have two pregnant timber rattlesnakes. Ooh, we so. <laughs> Did we not? We usually not have rattlesnakes in this area, did we? Well, like, this is. These are the ones that we got about 45 minutes south of here. The two that we went on, on the same property. So. Thank you so much. I grew up with snakes, but I don't you know, want them. You don't want them. I'm just glad it's gone now. Especially at least the ones that can hurt you. You I don't want them. Have a metal glove or something. <laughs> so how long is that one? I don't know. Maybe about. Two feet, maybe. What do you do with them now? Um, well, so a lot of times we turn them loose. Um, we have places that we can go and turn them loose. Like maybe if she's pregnant, we might keep her and let her have her babies and give the babies a chance to get a little bit bigger before we let them go. I can't say that, so there's a thing Or if you have a neighbor you don't like. <laughs> a family member, I can go take them there. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so welcome. <laughs> hey, I'm Sarah Clark. And I'm Audrey. And we are headed to a snake call. And the people sent us a picture and we told them it was a copperhead. And we're going to head over there and see if we can't get this copperhead taken care of for them. No, that sounds like we're kidding. Hey, Sarah here. And Audrey Clark. And my phone keeps Hey, I'm Sarah Clark. I'm Jason's wife, and we are headed to a snake call. Oh, wait, I didn't. Am I... <laughs> what? No, it's recording. Oh, it's recording? I didn't know. Stop it. <laughs>